Hello and welcome to the seventh lecture in the Art of Hacking Humans Introduction to Social Engineering, presented by Dauda Sudi. In this lecture, we'll be looking at dumpster diving. Dumpster driving involves a malicious individual stealing sensitive data by looking through trash, searching for sensitive data that was not properly discarded. So a malicious individual could just search your trash and collect things like discarded pin mailers and things like that that were not properly discarded, shredded or so, or burnt to ashes. They could also steal discarded disk, memory disks, which contain sensitive information on them. The malicious individual could also obtain sensitive data by just looking around for carelessly left documents or expose sensitive data. That could be like things like passwords written on sticky notes are left next to computers such that the malicious individual could just sit on your computer and see that this is your password and enter it with your username. It could also be other sensitive credentials that might just be written about or there could be also careless information left lying about that the malicious individual can use to carry out an attack or a breach supervisors contact numbers of customers left carelessly lying around things like that whether in the trash or on the desk just lying around the attacker could just disguise and come in or even come in as an actual employed cleaner a janitor or something like that and be stealing information from desks and garbage dumpster diving takes advantage of human negligence and imagine sense of security. Of course, it's quite negligent to leave sensitive data lying around or to just discard them in the trash without proper disposal, like shredding or burning, or even at least redacting. That negligence also comes about as a result of a false sense of security. People imagine that their garbage is not a risk area. Proper disposal of documents and data can help reduce disks associated with dumpster driving. This could be through proper shredding, burning, physical destruction or multiple formatting in case of disks, and demagnetization of disks as well. Proper shredding of documents can be achieved by using a shredder that cuts both horizontally and vertically which makes it much more difficult for them to be pieced together after such paper is disposed. Burning to ashes is also an effective way of disposing such documents. And also if you can burn a disk to ashes, that can also help you to safeguard that disk being exposed. Electronic media being disposed should be completely destroyed physically such that no recovery can be made from them. This could be done by formatting several times that's multiple formatting of a disk, for example, so that the data cannot be recovered from it, or from sectors and what have you. Demagnetization could also be used to destroy disks, but that would be when you have a good budget. So that brings us to the end of this lecture. See you in the next lecture. Fishing.